now we turn our attention to quadrature amplitude modulation we know that wireless transmission happens through electromagnetic waves so a pam waveform can also be sent over the air and method to achieve this is to multiply with the carrier sinusoid data frequency fc through a local oscillator this time domain multiplication results in frequency domain convolution between the spectra and this is why after this local oscillator multiplication the spectrum of our baseband signal turns up at plus and minus fc so we can say the signal is parked at its allocated slot quadrature amplitude modulation is very similar to pulse amplitude modulation with the difference is that it has two carriers a cosine and a sine and they carry independent pam waveforms so for example if you look at here at the sequences here this is the simple sequence pulse shaped sequence then this is the local oscillator generated high frequency signal a similar in the relationship you can note in the Q arm these two are summed together and then sent over the air now this detection process is very interesting when the signal arrives at the receiver it is first down converted to baseband so you can see the noisy signal here after that in both arms the process is similar to pulse amplitude modulation system where it is sampled at simple space intervals in actual reality it is sampled at a faster rate but then l minus 1 samples are discarded now from here you can see that these samples in the i arm are mapped on the i axis and the samples on the q arm mapped on the q axis so for example if i have to find out where this sample comes from so it has an i component which comes from here almost you can say negative a so you can see i axis negative a this fifth symbol also has a q component which is negative a almost and you can see it has a q component that is negative a so these i and q together form each sample from where the minimum distance rule is applied to detect the transmitted symbol i personally find this process of the mapping of the waveform to the symbol estimates onto the constellation i find this process very interesting and very fascinating in this flow graph we learn about quadrature amplitude modulation which is very similar to pulse amplitude modulation we covered before with the difference being that a qam modulation scheme is actually two pam schemes in parallel so you can see very similar blocks making one arm which is called the in phase or i arm and the other is the q arm which is the quadrature arm let us delve into a few details after the bits generation we see that two bits here are being packed into one symbol because this is a four qam or qpsk scheme why are we doing that so that we can have four different symbols and which can be detected onto the receiver side and mapped onto two bits each these two bits imply that we have four addresses for the lookup tables 00 01 10 and 11 from their decimal equivalent we can have 00 is 0 0 1 is address number 1 0 is address number 2 and 1 1 is address number 3 both lookup tables have the same input from these and now this is the interesting part the mapping goes like this 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 are the four sets of bits that form the addresses the four addresses to the lookup tables i and q the i and q output is then determined by the, the i output and the q output so plus one for i plus one for q one zero implies plus one for i minus one for q note that this is different from mapping a one to plus one and zero to minus one so for example here uh, if you uh, taken that viewpoint then here one is being mapped to plus one but here one is being mapped to minus one this is not true the main point is that the bits are being mapped to the symbols as a set this set only means that address two of the lookup table i address two of the lookup table q and the output of the lookup table i is determined by the this value plus one and I, and output of the lookup table q is determined by this value which is minus one for example now when we look back to the lookup table q we will see that based on 0 1 2 3 we will have plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 
and minus 1 as the Q lookup table output. Let us check it. Mapping or in the lookup table Q is given by 1, 1, minus 1, minus as we just found out. Next, corrector to float again. The irrelevant blocks I keep them separate from the flow, like throttle and corrector to float, corrector to float and things like that. Interpolating FIR filter, which is the up sampler at Q I and up sampler at Q arms. These insert seven basically samples per symbol minus one zeros after each symbol, and the time sync block is here to so that we can visualize the outcome of this up sampler and then we have a pulse shaping filter in the i arm pulse shaping filter in the q arm exactly similar to what we had in the pulse amplitude modulation schemes and then this is the i output in the baseband and this is the q output and the, both of them combined they are the baseband qam waveform if we now run the flow graph we will find that it is very similar to two PAM schemes in parallel. So this is the up sampled I arm with symbols, plus minus one symbols with seven zeros inserted in between because the number of samples per symbol is eight. Same for the Q arm. The I waveform which is pulse shift by root trace cosine filter, the Q waveform. And here we have the I spectrum and the Q spectrum which are similar to PAM spectra. Baseband QAM receiver is exactly similar to two PAM receivers in parallel. So the only new block here is this QAM waveform baseband where I have three different values access bandwidth, sample per symbol and sample rate to choose as parameters. As discussed before this is a, my, this is a custom block which I made through paired source and paired sync blocks and the rest of the details are the same as discussed. And after that, we convert from compl complex to float and give in phase output to the in phase arm and the quadrature output to the quadrature arm. Match filter in both I and Q arms, down samplers in I and Q. Then we check the output. So let us run this flow graph. And we can see that the receive waveform is blue, are the in phase part and the red ones are the quadrature arm. The match filter waveform very similar to what we have seen in the PAM waveforms and after downsampling at the right instant we have the plus ones minus ones which were the bits mapped to our actual transmitted symbols. These plus ones and minus ones appear in both I and Q arms and map to our original symbol. I want to show you the scatter plot as well where uh, this point comes from the plus ones in the I arm and the plus ones in the Q arm. When both of them happen, we spot this point. When there is a minus one in the I arm and plus one in Q arm, we get to this point. Similarly, when there is a minus one in I arm and a minus one in Q arm, they both map to this minus one in I arm, minus one in Q arm. Finally, when there is a plus one in I arm and there is a minus one in Q arm, they both map to this point in the constellation. The purpose of the previous flow graph was to show that a QAM transmission scheme consists of two parallel PAM schemes. This is why we explained the output at the transmitter and the receiver in baseband. This flow graph is related to passband transmission scheme. So the rest of the details remain the same and we will see that the carrier is involved at the later stage. The bits generation and packing two bits in one symbol which forms the address to the lookup table I and lookup table Q from which the relevant symbol at I and Q is selected they are up sampled by number of samples per symbol and then pulse shaped in i and q arms this is what we have already seen before the different part comes here where i have a local oscillator cosine and a local oscillator sine this is a 
carrier wave which is multiplied or mixed with the i arm i output and this carrier wave which is a sine this was was a cosine in the i arm and the sine waveform is in the q arm mixed with the pam output from the q arm after the mixing the difference is computed and that is the actual waveform that is transmitted on the air if you have some doubts about one waveform is subtracted from the other or why is there is a minus sign in the sign part of the local oscillator you can read the derivation in the text let us run the flow graph and check the output as we can see here the i waveform and the q waveforms are regular pam scheme the i spectrum and q spectrum again just like a pam spectrum however the q waveform is clearly seen to be riding on the carrier wave now but we can see that this cosine and sine due to their orthogonality they do not interfere with each other and at the receiver when the same same process is repeated in down conversion both arms produce parallel independent outputs the qam spectrum is a real waveform that's why it is symmetric around center frequency 0 this is the spectrum of the real waveform that is sent into the air by this time a qam receiver in, in pass band is pretty self evident after all these uh, operations which are bundled up in a qam pass band waveform we just down convert the waveform through a local oscillator at the receiver side i and q sides and then we match filter in i and q forms down sample in i and q forms and map to the symbols let us run the flow graph now and see the output you will see here that the receive waveform doesn't look really good the same we can see the match filter i waveform down converted i arm down converted q arm all of this looks down sample q arms are not plus ones minus one down sample i arms i arm is not plus ones minus ones and the scatter plot is pretty all over the place there is some mistake which i am doing somewhere and usually what happens is that when we copy a block it swell you need to be updated so with the current setting it was taking the default values although i should have given it the values of the parameters according to my own flow graph samp per sim after these corrections when i run the flow graph again you can see that the receive waveform is all right the down converted i am match filtered i waveform is looks like a match filter q waveform and i waveform and the down sample i and q arms are plus ones and minus ones and hence the neat scatter plot of plus ones and minus ones the other details of the receiver they are exactly the same as the base band waveform these local oscillator i and q they are the addition